So now we're going to identify the lens of a confidence interval. The confidence level of an interval estimate is the probability that the interval estimate contains a parameter. It describes what percentage of intervals from many different samples contain the unknown population parameter. So that's the confidence interval level. So there are different confidence level. If you are testing for hypothesis, you need a confidence level or the margin of error. So the confidence of le the confidence level are usually 99%, 98%, 96, 95, 92, 90, 85, 80, and 70%. Or in decimal 0 0.99, 0 0.98, 0 0.96, 0 0.95, so on and so forth. And the z-score for this level, um, nine, confidence level 99% is 2.58, 2.33, 2.05 so on and so forth so that's the the z critical so the z the confidence interval or the interval estimate is a range of values that is used to estimate a parameter so this um um interval contains the parameter but we don't know what the parameter is let's say unknown yung para are unknown yung parameter but we just going to estimate the um interval kung saan nandoon yung um, parameter. So if in, in this one it's the mean, so the mean, it's between the lower limit and the upper limit. So the lower limit is equal to the mean minus the the sample mean minus the margin of error, the margin of error. Well, the upper limit or UL is the mean plus the margin of error. So to better understand this one, we're going to have this example. A random sample of 46 scores from the examination is taken and it gives a sample mean of 78 with the interval scores between 77.18 and 78.82 having a 90% level of, of confidence. So that's the given. So letter A, we're going to look for the sample mean. The sample mean, the N Hanapin muna natin ang n. The n is 46. Kung 46, we're using the z, the normal distribution, rather than the t. Kasi ang t is less than 30. So, n is 46. So, the sample mean. Sample mean, x bar is sample mean. So, it's the sample mean of 78. So, this is 78. Next, the upper limit. So, this is the, the interval. So, kung ito ang interval, the upper limit is 78.82. Yung mas malaki. 78.82 the lower limit is yung mas maliit so we know that the formula um let for letter c muna e the margin of error so walang margin of error dito sa formula so what you're sa give sa problem pala so what we're going to do is we will use the formula it's you will use this ul is equal to this one so ul is equal to x bar plus e ibig sabihin E is equal to UL minus X bar. Kasi kapag e, e transpose natin yung X bar, so we get E. So we know that UL is 78.82 78 minus the X bar, which is 78. So the margin of error, 78.82 minus 78 is 0 0.82. So yan ang margin of error, so 0 0.82. 82. Next, the confidence interval. The confidence interval is this one. So, 77.18 mu 78, 78.82. So, that's the confidence interval. Or, simply write parenthesis, 77.18 comma 78.82 parenthesis. So, that's the confidence interval. Ibig sabihin, yung mean, yung parameter mean, or the population mean pala, is between 77.18 and 78.82. Nandiyan lang siya. The sample mean is 878, but the population mean, kung lahat-lahat na, kung instead na yung 46 sample lang, instead, instead of 46 sample is yung population mean, it's, uh, the score is in between 77.18 78.82 and the confidence level is 
given it to the confidence level is 90%. So 90%, ibig sabihin niya, we are 90% confident that the mean score lies between 77.18 and 78.82. Sure tayo na we are confident na 90% confident tayo na yung population mean is na between 77.18 and 78.82. So that's the meaning of the 90% confidence level. So 90% sure ka na yung kung population mean, yung overall na mean, instead na mean na 78, is between 78.18 at saka 78.82.